excited to share today a bathroom remodel that we had completed this summer for a sweet family I clean house for. We had talked about this project for almost a year so I was really grateful to start this for them and finally get it going. These are some of the floor samples that we had chosen from Floor and Decor. The kiddos were having a blast I'm telling you. We are, we'll start a demo immediately the luckily the homeowners were gone that first week of demo this bathroom is a second story bath so it was a lot of work getting all the debris and uh, old materials out but it, it we did it with the help of our boys they were a super big help we were able to get all the tub and all the debris downstairs they did it very efficiently because they're so strong and stuff so overall, I, the bathroom job took us about three weeks. Uh, we were hoping for about a 10 day to two week type of deadline, but it just, it is what it is. Here you can see the casing. We pulled all the existing door that separated the toilet um, wash area from the sink. We went ahead and um, are drywalling that out because we are going to add a barn door there. The previous door was very cumbersome in the way, swung into the toilet area, hit the rug of the shower, just a little bit inconvenient. So here you can see we're working on all the electrical. We added a new puck here above the entry door. This was kind of a dark space in the bathroom. We doubled the sconces where the vanity was because it was just a single and added a new puck light um, above the shower stall. The niche is now installed. We had to notch out those two by six exterior studs to get that in and reinstall their insulation. The drywall work began. I chose to drywall this entrance instead of casing it because I felt it would look like it's always been there once the barn door was up. We ended up spreading mud to the corners of the wall so that we can match texturing. We weren't sure if that would match their existing texturing well. So now those walls are smooth and ready for texturing. We had to prepare this walls on both sides of the door opening. So it was a lot of prep to get the texture on and a lot of waiting for things to dry. And we even busted out the blower guys, like waiting for that knockdown to get to that right consistency to spread. It was fun. So the paint is on now and we are really happy with this agreeable gray. It has a nice modern cool look to it. One of the tricks we used in this space is to caulk that ceiling and wall seam when there's two textures joining together. Sometimes it's hard to get a straight trim line when you paint. So we did do that here. That's why you don't see the paint to ceiling yet. But we're excited for this accent wall and for things to be coming together. Unfortunately, the tub install didn't go so smoothly. The drain ended up popping through the ceiling of their living room below and so we're doing some drywall repair and paint hey babe what you doing painting the ceiling second time <laughs> second time's a charm we're gonna look it's nice and matchy matchy now kind of <laughs> it I mean, is yeah. it's it looks good plastic to everything <sighs> this is collateral damage am i right pro bono <laughs> The homeowners were super understanding and knew we would make it right. It did delay the tile progress and having more done on the bathroom, but I did install that shiplap in the background. I'm just saying it looks great. So back to the shower and the tub, everything went great after that tub install was in. The tile marble inlay was beautiful. It was just beautiful mosaic marble. 
I love my little love note. You see, I love Becky Boo in the corner. He must have been waiting for a cut or something. He's just writing me love notes. That's my high school sweetheart, guys. So tiles and my husband and my son worked on this while I had a cleaning week. I was not able to assist them, so unfortunate. <laughs> but the floor got installed in a nice staggered pattern. So we're now gonna prep this back wall for wallpaper. I actually got a hexagon wallpaper that ended up not working out. The pattern was a mess, the dye lot was off. So we had to improvise and try a new wall treatment and it ended up looking lovely. Now the fun part begins. The custom vanity is in. I have about three coats of spray on it at this point. We did paint it navel by Sherman Williams. I'm going in with the finish coat by hand and finishing the vanity off. We use this product from Lowe's. It is a cabinet and furniture paint. It's a water base like enamel. It self levels. It does a great job even if you have to hand paint. We went ahead and had custom doors made for the existing toilet cabinet also to match the vanity and I got that painted fully by hand. It looks fantastic. So we really love and want to endorse that product. The vanity has to get cut down by about an inch so we took a half inch off each side and have that installed with the new Delta faucets. And I originally had purchased this Knotty Pine solid core slab and stained it in Provencial to use for the barn door. I love the warmth that it brought to the bathroom, but unfortunately it was just too small. The opening of the doorway is 30 inches and the slab was only 32 and there was just not enough overhang to give privacy for that toilet and shower area. So the homeowner also wanted a more neutral door. The contrast was a little bit too much for them. So we made that change there. We're gonna pause for a moment to give this vanity a little extra love. I just love that wall to wall look. It just looks so modern. And I think that not seeing any of that framing just makes this space look even more unique and custom. I can't wait to get these slats on the wall to finish this accent area for the mirrors. I'm giving a quick tour of what we have done so far. The crown is up on top of the toilet cabinet to complete that. The sleuther edges of this tile look so modern and cool. Those metal edging, I just love that. My little ladies helping us say our final goodbye to the beautiful wood door. Unfortunately, it will not be staying, so we will have a new one in its place. But let's get these slats up on the wall. We're gonna go ahead and kind of create like a batten look, I guess you could say, behind the mirrors. I love the texture. They're very thin, it's just eighth inch board, but I love the texture it gives behind the mirrors. It's subtle and really, really classy. So here comes the reveal for you guys. functional before but a beautiful after with mixed metals of brushed brass and black Turkish towels brushed brass mirrors and hardware honestly this bathroom is just so handsome the new towel rings and towel bar are the Allen Roth line from Lowe's they match the black barn door hardware that we purchased from Amazon and this new 36 inch knotty pine door in gray looks fantastic there's a little bit of contrast but not too too bold and you can see that wood grain through it and there's this little tapestry that coordinates with the bath tucked behind 
I love the brushed brass on this bathroom cabinet and this new toilet. Honestly, this toilet was a crazy install, but it's so modern and sleek and it fits the space perfectly. So this space just has come together it's so clean and simple. I love the tile. The tile work is just elegant. The choices were all cohesive and just really modern. I love that mosaic marble inlay and the sub the large subway tile. I just can't get enough of all this little decor. Now the boys have a place by the shower to hang their towels and overall just so grateful for how this turned out and so glad to share.